five, four, three, two, one, go! So for Soccer Racing League, we start with boots. It is very nice, and our objective is to defeat Ganon. Very important, super, super duper important. We defeat Ganon, and uh, I don't want to deal with you, so I'm going this way. <laughs> Um, so what we do is we're looking for bombs. Right off the bat, we're looking for bombs. We're looking for rupees so that we can get stuff in Kakariko. Um, we need seven crystals to defeat Ganon, as well as we need to defeat Aghanim at the top of Ganon's tower. And in order to access Ganon's tower, we still need seven crystals as well. So we are going to hope that we, uh, we're going to kill this guy, get ourselves a nice tree pull. It, uh, was just magic. But, you know, if we get a magic item, that's pretty good off the start. Hopefully bombs from you, or 20 rupees. Ooh, or we could just miss. Wow, what trash. Okay, well, no rupees, because we're not going to pick those up. It's not worth the time. Also, don't we start with cursing Saku's luck? How dare. Nope. I'm super excited about the, um, about the new emote slots, though, that we're getting on Twitch. Oh my gosh. I have been wanting animated emote slots for so long. I have way more than five. <laughs> All those green rupees. Boo. No green rupees. We need the big monies. Gotta pay off the Zora Mafia. Um, so we can get an item from them. Okay, let's see. We did not get anything good from the woods. <laughs> well, 50 bucks is 50 bucks, but... What emotes will be added? Well, I'm gonna add back sock of notes. Um... The ones that stay on, um... The ones that are currently on Natsaku will stay on Natsaku. Uh, I'm not sure that Steer is going to be one added here. I'm going to try. It'll depend on how many slots I have. Um, I don't have bombs. What am I doing? Three hundred bucks. No bombs! <gasps> But we did get a bottle, so we can go see Sick Kid. We can also... Pretty close to being able to afford uh, King Zora. But we do need to buy something from the bottle vendor. Um, so I'm just going to do that first to see if it's bombs. Nope, 20 bucks. All right, not worth <laughs> Gloves! 50 bucks! Darn. Okay, well, that sucks. We're gonna have to come back for both of those. <laughs> whammy. <laughs> no whammies, no whammies, no whammies. <laughs> oh, yeah. I almost went in there again and was like, wait, no, I still don't have bombs. A book? We just got a copy of Twilight from Sick Kid, their favorite novel. Wow, how vanilla. <laughs> we have now what, three bottles? <gasps> Waifu with the tier 372 months. I can't, wow, it really has been six years. That is incredible. Six fun years. Bam. Bye, chicken. Off to Castlevania with you. Shovel. Gross. Castlevania clip complete. Yep. I just tried to do spin speed, and I don't have boots. And I couldn't, it wouldn't even have helped anyways. 
because I was going into the door, like right next to the thing. <laughs> Listen, they need to get their wall chicken somehow. The best way is obviously to send them manually. So I, uh, I posted a schedule, I've now changed the schedule, and it's possible it may change again. <laughs> I'm not sure, uh, but, uh, yeah, I did, I did post a schedule in the Discord, um, but the, something came up, an emergency came up, and so, uh, one of my VTuber siblings is not able to do the collab on the day that we were supposed to do the collab. So... We are, in fact, going to, uh, going to change the date. We're hoping this day works, but we're not sure. We're still waiting for somebody to confirm. You say it's dangerous to teach Kukos to- ooh! To EG? Is it because you're afraid they're actually going to clip through the walls to get you when you attack them? Also, can we get a shout out for Willard, please? Thank you so much for the raid. I really appreciate it. If you're not following Willard, Willard is a sweetheart. Um, I know this video is going up on YouTube, so if you haven't, uh, Willard J. Bradley, uh, look them up. Great, uh, great streamer. Does a lot of cool stuff. Makes cool videos. Willard also has a YouTube, so... <laughs> Just saying. There's no excuse now, you have heard. <laughs> oh yeah, I need to take that timer off now. Oh no, you don't. Leave me alone! Oof. Ugh, I missed the dig spot. We got the moon pearl though. So, oh yeah, here. Just send a cuckoo storm to you in Castlevania. Hmm, I don't know. You're being a butt. Yeah, honestly, the shovel, the shovel was pretty nice. I'm not gonna lie. So we're gonna do, um, we're gonna get rupees because we have the moon pearl. And I don't want to go to Zora without having enough rupees. And I don't want to trust that the, the mini mold arms are actually gonna give it to me. So instead, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, um, do... Set it up so the camera doesn't know where to place me, and instead we're gonna go into here. Get some rupees, leave. We'll put us right outside our house, so we need to grab the stuff from our house anyways. Hopefully it's a weapon. That's the uh, weapon of love, I guess. Ah, we have seven bombs, it'll be fine. I have faith in my abilities, somehow. Also, we have the glove. Hey, Marco. <coughs> also, I'm still kind of sick, so sorry about the coughing. Oh, well, now we have 10 bombs, so convenient. <laughs> yeah, that's true, Logos. Chicken's only weakness is breading and hot oil combo. This is involving Wheezy. <laughs> I have a, I have a problem that when I get a, like a chest cold, it turns pretty, pretty awful very quickly. Oops. Also, 
so 707 rupees. LOL. <laughs> I'm hoping, I'm hoping that it won't, uh, won't evolve into wheezing, but I also have, um, I don't know what it's called. I had it a long time ago, um, and I just, like, I got it a long time ago, and I've never really paid attention, because I was a kid. Yo, oh, thank you so much for the raid! <laughs> Alright, bombs. Don't eat those. Yo, Ronko, how's it going? Rated easy? Yo. Pneumonia? Well, I did. A long time ago, I had pneumonia, but no, the problem was, um, more the fact that I had this, this, uh, it's like an asthma that only shows up when you have a chest cold. So I don't actually know what it's called. Um. But yeah. Acute bronchitis. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't know. I was really young when I got it, so I never paid attention to its name. <laughs> 20 bucks, 20 bucks, 20 bucks! Is this all 20s? Nah, bombs. Aw, oh, man. Ah, it was one, one chest off from being all 20 rupees. This would be the most garbage cave in the world. <laughs> If it was, if I didn't get any bombs. <laughs> Oops. Oh, my God. Oh, my. Hello? Can I stop running into everything, please? Yo, know, thanks for the lurk. I appreciate it. How was Splatoon? Nah! Goodness gracious, please leave me alone. <laughs> I don't want to die. Thing up for a walk. Enjoy your walk. Hey, Nugget. Fifty more dollars. Wow, we are rolling in dough right now. Okay. Friendly reminder, next week, uh, my stream schedule is going to be a little weird because I'm uh, a guest at uh, the stream on Winnipeg Comic Con's stuff. Um, doing an A Link Between Worlds rando speedrun. So... Alright, so we don't care about what is on that ledge. Lake Hylia Island is garbage. Not world famous. Don't do it! Don't do it! <laughs> that was scary. Three bombs. Oh, that's way too high. Eight BT itself is done. What's eight BT? Like eight bit? Arrow. Ah, uh, eight bit theater. Okay, so we're doing. Uh, we set ourselves up for water walk glitch. Um. What we're doing is making sure we don't get shot in the butt by the Zoras. We're gonna go in here. When we leave here, it's gonna check to see if we have the Moon Pearl before it checks to see that we have flippers. And allowing us to come back in here and pick up these chests. They are absolute trash. <laughs> Not worth at all. So what, we need fire source and a weapon, and then we can go to Desert Palace, which is kind of gross. The bombs is good there. That means we don't have to come back.
We are completely done with all the water related stuff. Wow. Yuck. No, I'm not world famous. Okay, so we're gonna go to Eastern. I don't wanna go to Eastern without any weapon. Okay, let's go over here first. Just, just check these two chests and we'll leave. That is not an item I like to see early. Wow. Just money, money, money everywhere. Can we just pay Ganon off? Like, hey, here's 50 bucks. Can you go somewhere else? <laughs> One million rupees. That's a lot of rupees. Alright, this guy is gonna be a problem, so we're gonna... I don't even have hook shots, so I can't even do hook dash. I have to just run. How dare. I... Okay, Ice Palace is green pendant. Fun fact. Hammer! Oh my god, we finally have an item. Wait, that's... That's Dark World access. <laughs> Do you mind? All right, so we're still gonna go to Eastern because Okay, this guy. Thank you. He needs to go away. <laughs> no, this is not swordless. This is getting hecked. All the cannonballs are on opposite sides, so we can't even do nice dashes. Hello, Hexa. So that's item number one. So there's three items inside Eastern Palace. Hopefully we can find them pretty early because uh, we don't have lamp, we don't have bow. This dungeon is um, not gonna be super valuable to us if we don't get something good. Okay. Hey, cosplay. Hey, cosplay. Hey, Hexa. Hey, Murex. And Wei. Our green paradox. Everybody else's names have scrolled off the screen so I can't see them. I hope you're all doing well. Jack. <laughs> so we're going to go through here and we're going to hopefully find ourselves one good item. <laughs> Like the hook shot. Or what else can we get? That's nice. Hmm. The lamp? Lamp would be cool. Instead we find the map. Kinda gross. <sighs> Eastern Palace, we did not get a big key. Something sharp requires a bomb. Could be. That actually could be something nice. Yeah, this sprite is me. You 
mind. Okay, so we're through there. Whatever this is gonna be outside of logic. Probably, knowing my luck, uh, this is gonna be the big key and then the, um, the chest that is, uh... Hmm. The chest that is, uh... Where the big key chest is gonna be compass or something, just for my troubles. <clears throat> No, that's not why I uh, was added to the list of sprite options. This is the Maple Queen. Uh, I'm Canadian. That was the big thing that I was called for a very long time. Yeah, of course it's compass. Uh, I it was uh it was the thing I was called for a very long time before I got my branding sorted out. Um, and. It's, yeah, it's just stuck around as I wanted to change the sprite name, but I think that the people who use the sprite that are not me um, Or if there even is any I don't think they necessarily. Oh, yeah, I don't have swords. So I can't do that I don't think they necessarily know why the sprite is called the Maple Queen And so it would be very confusing for them if it was changed without like them knowing who I am Hey Derek all right, so I'm hoping something sharp. It said something sharp was behind bombs. So, here's hoping that the item is in here, because this is locked behind bombs. Loot. Nice. Aha! Clever. Oh my god! <laughs> well, that was a little bit more yes than I expected. Hype cave actually hype? <laughs> so we're gonna go to um, Thumpy and then we're gonna go to... Um, big game. <gasps> Hi my man, thank you so much for the resub 56 months. Two for one deal, yeah! Alright, let's go digging. It can be between 1 to 30 digs. So here's hoping for a nice early... I don't know why I'm going for more rupees. It's not like I need them. I should probably dig faster. This is a race. Okay, so let's go to Sanctuary and then we can go to Thieves Town. Honestly, I should have checked the map while I was there, but I feel like Thieves Town area, I mean, catfish could go into pod, but we don't have the bow, so that could be a little risky. My stomach is like not feeling happy with me today for whatever reason. Wait, I don't have the, um, I don't have the mirror, so I should do this now. We look pretty sharp, too. <laughs> Holy crud! Hello? That was a mix up. Push me. I'm trying to get to the dark world. I'm super nervous, by the way, about next weekend. Oh my gosh. What if I mess up and I embarrass the, the rando community? What if I make a mistake? Also, I have no commentary besides myself, which is even more scary. I have to speak in front of other people while playing the game. 
<laughs> you won't have some confidence. <laughs> because I don't have the mirror immediately finds the mirror. <laughs> All right, let's see what we have. Okay, we have uh, crystal, 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 red crystal. Oh God. Storm Palace. That means that um, there is a crystal still in the light world. So I do actually have to map for that. I'm just gonna go in here and quickly check this one and the uh, brewery. Honestly, I'm kind of glad that, um, I'm kind of glad that crystals five and six are the ones that they are. And the reason is, is because they are those particular dungeons, I know Pyramid Fairy cannot be Fire Rod, Ice Rod, Cane of Samaria, The Lamp. Wow, that's also bomb locked. <laughs> hey, uh, it oh my god, I pressed sideways and then up uh, before my character actually moved. Um, a Pyramid Fairy can't lock um, Fire Rod, Ice Rod, Cane of Samaria, The Lamp, The Titan's Mitts, The... Um, hook shot or the flippers, as well as, of course, mirror, but we already have that, so. There's a lot of things that, that cannot be at Pyramid Fairy, which is, I'm happy about, because I don't really like to go to do Pyramid Fairy. <laughs> The compass? I need the big key, please. It has to be in this chest. Because uh, everything else in this dungeon is locked by big key. Well, heck me. Oh, so that was super close. We also have blue mail, which is very nice for this dungeon. Take a little bit less damage from everything. Um, especially considering we only have four or five hearts. Man, I cannot count. <laughs> Pyramid Fairy cries because Saku doesn't like visiting. I don't like being bomb delivery service. Also, um, I've had Ender Lilies on my mind basically like since I stopped playing it. It is such a fun game. I don't know if anybody has played it that has played Hollow Knight, but you should. Bomb delivery service is in fact worse from the link between worlds. That is facts. You know, I hear a lot of people say that, that they've started, but they never finish it, which is making me really nervous for, like, when I, uh, go to finish it. I want this. All right, so small key has gotta be inside of the big chest. Yep, 
Yikes. Alright, time to deliver the maiden to the sunlight. I got stuck. That's messed up my stuff. Oh god. Yep. My whole cycle is messed up. Saku's been pretty methodical in her search, so I feel like she's unlikely to get stuck from not checking where she needs to. Yeah, I, I feel like I'm being pretty decent with my stuff. We've done all of Thieves Town. First crystal obtained. We are 31 minutes in. First crystal obtained. So we can go to Skullwoods, actually. I'm scared. Do not forget, Saku. Do not forget. Do not forget Bumper Cave. We got the cape early. So check Bumper Cave. Oh my god, why are you in there? <gasps> lamp! I do like lamp. That's one item. Normally I'd just go to the boss, but I don't have fire rods, so we can't do that. But I think that means I can finish Desert Palace, if Desert Palace is a crystal that would be good. Hmm. Uh, that also means we have, uh, dar or we have Death Mountain access. Small key, please. Fine. No small key for me. Oh man, Saku went live. It's okay. Um. Okay. That's not high enough. It's high enough. Map! Oh my god. I don't want the map though. I want an item. All right, we're gonna find a small key probably. Cause not likely to find nice things. Don't even think about it. Go away. Teach me your ways. Which ways? Left? Right? No, I'm just kidding. I believe to the past. <laughs> I saw you were playing it the other day. I didn't want a backseat. I felt really bad. I was like, ah, uh, I'm not gonna say anything. No, oh, it's a small key. All right, so we're gonna continue on. There is still one item. We also know that Skull Woods is a crystal, so we do have to come back and beat the boss anyways. So what we're gonna do is when we get the fire rod, we're gonna come back and we're gonna do the back part of Skull Woods and go to the boss first, hope that it's something good, and then, you know, cry when it's, you know, the last chest that we literally haven't been able to grab. <gasps> Art container, oh boy. F's in chat for 20 hearts. Um, actually, now that I think about it though, I'm just gonna go into the, I'm just gonna go into light world and go, yeah, you know, I don't really feel like fighting a bird. <laughs> you, I don't think you need it as bad as you think you need it, Adam. I have the flute! Why am I walking in the dark? 
Well, we're already here. We can't go back. <laughs> oh my god. I remember somebody asked me recently whether or not I would be getting an analog pocket. And I had mentioned the fact that the only console that I would be really interested in getting is one that does N64 games. And then like last week they announced that they're gonna be doing N64 games. So I don't wanna say, or they're they're doing a console for N64 games. So I don't wanna say that I helped out with, you know, helping uh, will that into existence, but it just is a coincidence that I happened to mention this like a couple weeks ago and uh okay well fine we'll get one we'll get a couple heart containers these ones are quick um <laughs> so misery Marion ice palace i can show you some quick ways with misery Marion ice palace um as long as you're okay with bomb jumps for ice palace uh some cash is near misery Mire. Saka Witch, my phone has been non-stop buzzing. I have no idea what's going on, but like, I'm not getting any Discord messages or anything, so what is going on that my phone is buzzing so much? All right, we have some heart containers. We also have the books. We can go see the ether tablet here. Where's 27 minutes? Oh my god. Yo, the bow. That's ether and pod now. Ether. Hello, that's uh Eastern and pod. <laughs> All right, are you crystal? Pendant. Crystal. All right, pendant is desert then. Well, hear about that. Having push notifications. Yeah, wait, what am I doing? I'm like, oh, I need a key to open that chest. No, that's not how a link to the past works. <laughs> yeah, thank you again for the for the raid. I really appreciate it. Can we get a shout out, please? Thank you again. I, re I really hope you had a great stream and I hope you get some good rest. Take care of yourself. That's what those letters mean? Wait, you mean at the top of the screen? Like right next to the magic? Yeah, that means it's a crystal dungeon. Some bombs are in plain sight. Oh, what am I doing? You know, let's let's do it. I'm confident today. There's better setups than that. I'm just not good. <laughs> Yeah, it's um. Now you feel dumb. Don't feel dumb. Not allowed. All right, Moldorm. Give me my last item, please. It's uh, it's basically so that people who um are deaf can't hear the music. The music can tell you, right? The music can tell you what uh, what dungeon type it is. So that gives like an unfair advantage. If there's races going on for people who can't hear, um, they wouldn't be able to tell what the, the dungeon is. So it's kind of like a, uh, what is it called? Accessibility thing? <laughs> 
yeah, the music, uh, the music is, uh... Also tells you, if you've got aggressive violins, it is a crystal dungeon. So the... Um... Yeah. Yeah, I think so, waifu. <laughs> if you have pure awesomeness, it's a pendant dungeon. <laughs> yeah, this the uh, the music with the aggressive violins is uh, dark world music. So that's uh. Yo, I went to the basement and I'm very happy I did. Oh my god, Ice Rod Hunt in the basement of Tower of Hera is gonna get so many people. And I'm so happy because that might actually give me an advantage. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm really hoping people skip it. Darn it, I was like half a second too early. So we're gonna go to Paradox Cave. The reason it's called Paradox Cave is because you enter from the bottom of the mountain and you fall into a cave that is above that cave. So it doesn't make sense. Right, well, that was trash. Can I get the fire rod, please? Honestly, if I could get five chests here, if I could get what I want from these five chests, it'd be hookshot, fire rod, cane of Samaria, and um, not 300 rupees. Still not 300 rupees. I guess a medallion? Butter sword, wow. That is also locked by bombs. All of the swords in the game were locked by bombs. Like every single one. This is way too low. Uh, I lied, apparently. Wait, I can't do anything else here. So we're gonna go to, um, Claude. <laughs> We're not gonna go to pod. We're gonna go to- uh, yeah, we should go to pod. Uh, I don't wanna go to pod. Hey, Mr. Lift. So we're gonna go to pod, and the reason is, is because Pod has five chests in it, or sorry, way more than five chests, but um, five items, five potential go mode items. So, not bad to at least open it, go in, see what we can find. It is a pendant dungeon in this scenario, so not like the best, but we can't go into Ice Palace because we don't have Titan's Mitts. We can't go into Swamp because we don't have the flippers. We can't go into Misery Mire because we don't have Titan's Mitts. Um, all of those are crystals. We can't go into Turtle Rock because we don't have Titan's Mitts. We can't finish Skullwoods because we don't have the Fire Rod. We can finish Eastern, but there's only one item. It is on the boss, mind you, but um, it's like 
We might as well just do this one first and then uh, go to that one after this. We can just mirror in front of the dungeon and yeah. Yo, see you, Marinko. Grats again on your on your um your Hollow Knight rando. Are you gonna add it to our the uh, async? Well, that stinks. Big key is nice and all because we need it, but the I kind of really want a small key to be there to just do the optimal routing for this. But instead, now we gotta go all the way around and remember that we have not grabbed the big, the vanilla big chest. Vanilla big key chest? There we go. This? Hookshot is an Eastern Palace! <gasps> okay, we're going to Eastern Palace right after this. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Blendation, how are you doing? So we get the hookshot, that's cool and all, but right now hookshot doesn't unlock anything for me. So, um, I'm not gonna leave Pod to go get it, because I've already done everything on Death Mountain that we can get until I get Titan's Mitts. Um... We don't have access to Swamp Palace yet, so that's not gonna be good for that and a whole bunch of other stuff. We actually, this is, I'm pretty sure this has to be a small key based on the amount of small keys that we have. But I'm not sure. Somebody's having a dream behind me. Working. Yeah, I thought so. It's Ruby. Uh, I don't know if you can hear, but uh, working in her sleep. <laughs> That's the only time she ever barks. But she's uh, mega cute, and I hope she's getting at least. I hope it's barking at squirrels or something. Not like a bad dream or something. Come on, I'm really hoping this is gonna be worth it. At least give me Kane Samaria. Kane of Samaria would be, actually be really nice. Titan's Mitts would be really bad. Flippers! Okay, well now, now we have the ability to do Swamp Palace. Two small keys means that that door there is a small key. So we don't need to go in there. She's clearly Saku's dog. <laughs> because she sleeps on the floor instead of her bed? Yeah. For Pod, we kind of, you know what, I'm gonna go to the boss and the reason is, is because I have the ability to kill the boss. Normally I'd leave it, but I'm still missing like significant amounts of items right now. Hookshot is gonna be great for Swamp Palace. It's gonna give me like a bunch of items that I can check there. But um, if I leave this and it's again a major item, I'm gonna feel really dumb. Yeah, I, I've been having, like, I woke up and uh, I was, oh, whoops. I woke up and um, I was sniffling because my allergies and whatnot. Um, and um, I've been sneezing basically, like, all day. Okay. 
We skipped um, Helmosaur one week. It did not pay off. We skipped Helmosaur another week. It did pay off. I'm not going to skip Helmosaur this week because I'm still missing a lot of items and I don't want to do Desert Palace with the pendant. Um, because that means then I'm dipping multiple pendant dungeons. I want, I want to find, uh, or I want my Titan's Mitts to be my final item that I need for go mode. That would ideally be the best situation. And the reason is because then that locks out like multiple checks, like multiple big checks. Okay, well, today apparently we cannot do the dash. Okay, well, apparently we can now. A couple more hits. Come back. I shouldn't have done it. Oh well. Who knows? Maybe. I don't know. Honestly, actually, I don't think that, uh, unless it's like a medallion, I don't think. Um, the, I don't think doing any of the remainder of the pendant dungeons is going to be super valuable because, um, based on what's a pendant, like Titan's Mitts can't be on the pedestal, um, I guess Fire Rod could. We have Lamp. Eh, okay, maybe Pedestal might still be in play. I'm hoping not, though. Yeah, it definitely could be a Ped Seed still. There are a few things on the table for it. But not many. would really be cursing your seed generation if it turned out to be a pet seed. Oh yeah, 100%. I would get the Saku, what the heck? So I hope everybody's excited. Extra life is coming up soon. I shot an extra one for good measure, because why not? I guess. <laughs> so now we can do Swamp Palace. Oh, there's still so much stuff I can do that I don't want to do. Is that season? I made a bet with chat for something about extra life. What did I say? I don't remember what it was, but there was there was a bet that I made with chat. But I was like, it was like, it's so unobtainable that like I 
didn't even remember what it was. <laughs> what is Extra Life? It is a charity marathon stream uh, that happens in the first weekend of November. That uh, raises money for Children's Miracle Network hospitals. Yeah, it was. I knew that it was raised ten grand for for Extra Life, which is something we've done before, but that was you know a long time ago in very different circumstances. Um. So. But I don't remember, it was something about... Yeah, I don't, I don't remember. Yeah, it's around, uh, it's, it's around the end of Daylight Savings Time, yeah? Was it unobtainable in the same way the hot dog costume was unobtainable? Technically, yeah, it's about the same. Okay. We're gonna go to, um... Here, we're gonna go to Swamp. I'm 1,000% down to prove Saku wrong and have chat wins. This goal is much harder. It is very hard. It's gonna be an insanely difficult task. Ten grand. I mean, it started already. Not over one weekend. It's ten grand by the end of the weekend. I think there's already been donations to the Extra Life goal. Ah! Uh, well, that's not what I wanted to see at all. <laughs> that is disgusting. Okay, there's been, oh yeah, no, it's fine. Oh, that's some gross. I did not want to see Titan's Mist this early. Wow, Hyperlink, how dare you? No, I need to go into the the mirror spot. Oh goodness, there is so much that unlocked, and I'm still missing some major items here. Hit in the face by a bubble. Also, I can't believe I already have the butter sword. But I think the extra life stuff is in my panels, maybe. Um, I think. Thanks for the follow! I know that it was at the end of my hot dog costume marathon. 
that I said it, so it might be something related to the hot dog costume. Taku is at $226. Yeah, see? We're already, we've already started. Are you able to return the hot dog costume? Oh god, no. I have no intention of returning the hot dog costume. What I would like to do is see if I could get a hot dog costume that is not five billion times the size of me. But yes. Um... Because that one was actually really hard to sit in. It was me. We're gonna go left side swamp because we can and because we're still looking for some major items. Keep it for future live deals. Pretty much, yeah. It still has the tags on it, technically. I realized that when I went to like put it away and I was like, oh yeah, I still forgot to take the tags off of this thing. Because they were on the inside. All right, so let's go and hope, hope we find the fire rod and then the cane of Samaria right here on both on left side swamp, please. Well, this is yucky. Well, those are both yucky. We haven't found the big key for Swamp Palace yet, which means we're gonna have to come back for the big chest. Uh, unless we don't find the map. So if we don't find the map, then the big chest will have the map. Oh, the you. Sakura becomes the world's first hot dog VTuber. There's probably... I feel like that would just be asking for... For lewd stuff. If you were a hot dog VTuber, somebody would come in and say some really inappropriate things. <laughs> we already had the weird um, mustard situation. Ether. We still haven't found map. Please don't find map. I'm gonna gamble that map is in the big chest. Also, I have, like, dust or something in my eye, and it's bothering me. More like all the inappropriate things. Yeah. Hello, eyeball. Can I see nicely, please? Rude. Come back! <laughs> don't even have all the- don't even have the fire rod or the silvers. <gasps> Maps in the big chest! <laughs> Oh, 
Insect like, ugh! Hot dog insect? Yucky. No insect. I am big scaredy bug. See what the entrance requirement is for Turtle Rock and Misery Mire. We only have two medallions. So if we get lucky, then yay. But if any of these are Quake, then we are in trouble. Alright, Bombos for Misery Mire. Come on, Kana Samaria. You always have a habit of putting an item for Misery Mar near Misery Mar, so. <laughs> Infamous bug. <laughs> Silvers. Okay. I pressed the wrong button, but I'm glad that it worked out because I was spamming the, uh... <laughs> I was spamming the... I mean, that is a good item for Misery Mire, I guess. I also want to check, um... The... Dark World over here. We have the mirror, so... can do the bottom stuff first. <laughs> Doomer. Man, Unreal Tournament. I was so good at that as a kid. I'm... I... Don't remember which one I played. We go over this every time I talk about it. But like... On dial-up internet... Um... I would play before I was like, I think I was like 12 years old playing on uh, Unreal Tournament Online against other people who were probably much older than me. <laughs> with a sword. No, it's Quake! <laughs> Big sand. So we're still looking for Quake. Which, good news, uh, cannot be on... Um... Darn. Uh, cannot be on the... Pyramid Fairy. It is, it is me. This uh, sprite is actually myself. I'm in danger. Oh, it's working. That was close. <gasps> Powder! Okay. <laughs> I like this. So we can go to Misery Mire, but we need magic first because we can't if we don't have magic. But we have 15 million bottles and a lot of money. 
You're not a princess? No, I am a queen. Oh, I still have another B? Played the original Unreal Tournament. Uh, hang on. Uh, but with Strange Love mod, which was basically a rideable redeemer with just the redeemer, no other weapons. I never had mods for that. How about to raid you? Yo, thank you. You can always hang out with Aya. Uh, I yo, thank you so much for the raid. Um, I am big scaredy cat when it comes to bugs. I don't even know what it is. Just bugs in general, not a fan. Yo, welcome Raiders, how's it going? How was your stream, what were you playing? No, I need powder. All right, so we're still looking for fire rod. That's our main thing right now. Ooh, cyberpunk. Is it your first playthrough? Ooh, DLC, nice. All right, we got the map. That's not the fire rod. Yes, technically. Are you enjoying it? I'll take that. We are going into the back part here, the fire lock side. Missions you played today? Yeah, yeah, makes sense. No, no, they're not. No. <laughs> I actually, the bug, the, the bug that I am the most scared of is ladybugs. Funny enough, which sounds ridiculous until, until you know why. Um, because I, I've had, I've told this story numerous times in the dis, in, in Twitch or on Twitch, in Discord and everything else. But when I was young, I had a friend and, or I, I had been swarmed by a massive amount of ladybugs all at once because they had infested my friend's attic. And it was, I was like six years old. It was just the most amount, the most amount of ladybugs I have ever, will ever see in my entire life. And uh, I will, I will literally, uh, I, I, I had so, I had such a traumatic experience. I had to be taken to the doctor because I couldn't sleep. I couldn't anything. Um, and my parents had to get me, um, it was, uh, my parents had got me a water bottle. They told me it was ladybug killer. And that was the only thing that, uh, made it so that I could sleep is because I thought that I would be, I would just, they said in the middle of the night, they'd just hear me 
squirt, 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 squirt with the with the uh, water bottle because I uh, was having nightmares all the time. Not good. I don't do well with ladybugs or anything ladybug related, unless it's like really fake looking. Okay, there's the two items from this dungeon. We're, uh, we just need to go to the boss now. Kill Vitreus. We have silver arrows. What's a placebo effect? hit the switch um it should be orange so we need to change it back red uh when doctor gives you fake medication that does nothing but you feel better anyways yeah exactly um if if it looks like a real ladybug i'm not gonna be a fan of it if it's like Ladybug from Pokemon that doesn't bother me because it is so fake looking. It's not like it, like it'll still gross me out a little bit, but not like uh not like actual fear. Fascinating. Interesting. I guess it's because your body feels better and so it's working in, in overtime. Maybe? I don't know. That is so yucky! Terror! That sounds horrifying. I would be so scared. All right, so yuck. Um, can't do skull woods. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do Hyrule Castle. Um, basically, I have Hyrule Castle and a few other things around the world, and then I have to go into Ice Palace. I'd rather not go into Ice Palace, but I really need this fire ride. Hoping I can find it. Please be fire rod. I'm trying to debate what I want to do next after this. Either Ice Palace or Turtle Rock. And I really don't want to do either of them. Well, 
Let's see if there's anything inside the sewers. These are cute. Girls is somewhat scary. I'm scared of bees because I don't know if I'm allergic to them or not. I've never been stung. Not once. And um, I've never been tested for bee allergies. I'm like super scared um, because I already have a severe allergy. So I'm like, yeah, I don't like bees because if I happen to get stung and I'm allergic, well, put bee, big yikes. Yo, thanks for the follow. Yeah, I know that they'll do- well, there are some that are not necessarily as nice, but like, there is, uh, there's some that- wow, okay, fine. <laughs> there are some bees that are not as nice. Um... But, like, if you step on one by accident, right? And... Yeah. Oh! Quake! Oh my god! It's Quake! We have Turtle Rock access. I forgot we didn't have Turtle Rock access, and I said I was gonna go to Turtle Rock, and now I'm kind of very happy that I went there. <laughs> Uh, I don't know where I want to go, but I don't want to go to Ice Palace. I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go to Turtle Rock, and it's probably not gonna be the right play. But honestly, I'm just gonna go there. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so sorry. I keep sneezing all the time. You know, it's funny, like, I don't normally sneeze as much when I'm not streaming, but, like, when I'm streaming, for whatever reason, sneeze, sneeze, sneeze. All the time. Did you mod this to play a Zelda? I, um, I'm playing a randomizer, and as part of the randomizer, you actually have the option to choose your choose who you play as. This is actually not Zelda. Um, this is actually the uh, well, technically it's the Blossom Queen, not the Maple Queen, uh, which is distinct from the one on the website. But yeah, there's a lot more um, than just um, than just the sprite that I'm playing as that's randomized or that's shuffled, I guess, or different. Um, what it is is actually the entire game, all the items that are in chests, like lying around in the world, those have all been shuffled around into new locations. So... What do you think of the change that Twitch is going to allow streamers to simultaneously stream to other platforms? I think that it is a good start. I think that they're... Um, okay. Oh boy. Um... I messed up. And dash into spikes. Um, I think it's a good start. I think that they are feeling the pressure from these other platforms and people leaving en masse. Um, to go there. Um... I think that, uh, they definitely, yeah. um, have weird rules regarding it, and I'm assuming that the reason why they have those rules is because they can't moderate chats from different platforms, but it is really interesting to me that they're saying that you can't have chat from both platforms visible on stream, um, so, 
it's gonna just be really weird that like you can only have half of the conversation so like if you're streaming to two and you have two different chats up right um you're gonna have problems because one chat is not going to be able to see the other chat and vice versa um Yeah, there's definitely some some interesting some interesting things. Um also hey Vincent, how are you doing? Um we're still looking for fire rods, so I'm actually going to continue. Doing fine? I'm glad. All right, well, we cannot go any farther because we're missing the big key. Well, technically we can go farther. We can go to Mimic Cave, but we cannot um, can't actually finish the dungeon. How's her foot doing? It's doing okay. She still has, um, she's finished her medicine. So um, I think uh, it looks like it's healing. So, needs to not chew on it. World famous No, no, no. No, 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 no. Um, uh, moments. Honestly, moments is what I care about. I'm... I'm really upset that they removed moments. I have been wanting- I've been talking about moments for years. I'm still gonna talk about moments. The fact that they took away moments was the biggest, like, catastrophe to- to happen to Twitch. Um, in my opinion. It is... The dumb- the single dumbest thing I think they've done. And then, trust me, they've done a lot of dumb things, but taking away moments was, was stupid. Um... Okay, no fire rod there. Darn. Okay. Um... They gave it to so few and then claimed it was underutilized. Well, they just wanted to take the resources and put it somewhere else. Let's be real. That's 100% what it is. They, they didn't want to have to, to actually put any work into it. They didn't actually tell people what it was useful for. There was a lot of things that they just didn't do. Um, they didn't tell people how to use it, where it was, and everything else. Uh, there was, yeah. I have a lot of opinions about moments. I am very passionate about them. And the fact that they took it away and didn't even give it to everybody. You don't know what moments are? Okay, so moments were... If you, as a streamer, had a moment on your stream where let's say you, let's say for me, Soccer Racing League, every Friday, I won a Soccer Racing League um, race, I could be like, oh my god, hey, we just won a Soccer Racing League. Uh, I'm going to set this as a moment. It was like a limited thing that you could do only a specific amount of times per month. So you save them for like the good moments when something happens really like significantly on your stream. And you would, uh, it would create a clip of that moment. And everybody who was in your stream at the time would get a badge that they could say like, hey, I was here for this moment. They were like collectible badges and clips that you would have access to at any time. Um... And, and you get fancy badges for being there at the time. Um, and it was a thing that, you know, made it so that it was like, you know, there was a reason for people to come to your stream when you're doing something big, because if something happened that was like, you know, a big deal, you'd be part of that moment. You'd be, you'd have that, you'd be able to say, hey, I was here for that, I can show you. Like, it's a kind of like a badge of pride for for being there and it is something that was so so it could be so significant for for communities and they just got rid of it um yeah but it's clips is like not a lot of people necessarily clip um there's a 
There's a few people who clip regularly, but like, yeah, there's a, you can clip something, you can share it. But also the badge thing makes it like, I don't, I don't need to clip something. I can just have somebody else clip it, right? Um, so I can share that clip and not necessarily have been here. It was a, a very good thing for, um, what is it called? Uh, just like I said, just being here. The reward for, for being here. When something happens. And I wasn't the only one who who really was passionate about it. I think I, like I ate your pie. Engagement, yeah. Um, I ate your pie was also super passionate about it. The badges sound pointless. They don't do anything to require you to go through extra stuff when making the clip. No, you don't make the clip. If you're, if you, I make the clip, I would hit the moments button. It would create the moment and you would get a badge for it, for being there. Yeah, I would, I would be the one who decides the moment. Um. Uh, actually, I'm gonna keep that there. Or I'm gonna keep this, uh, here. Hmm. What do I do with this? I'll just take it with me, I guess. Well, I disagree, Locke. I think that the badges are important. Um, because it's something that, like, if somebody really cares, like, they, they want to be like, hey, you know, I really, like, I don't know. It's, it's like another thing of pride for the stream. Okay, there we go. There's our fire rod. Well, I don't need this anymore. You'd be like, yeah, I was here for that moment. It's, it, it can be a pretty big deal for some people. It's just a sense of pride thing. Actually, I can just go into the dark world here because I need to go to uh, Skull Woods before I go to Turtle Rock. Follow two streamers that use the future. I I would use it. I know there are a lot of people who would have used it that just never got the opportunity to. No, give me. Okay, so I don't actually need anything. Since Fire Rod was my go mode item, I could just go. Oh, looks like Taco and Servo are already finished. Nice. People were regulars. That is show that people were regulars even if they couldn't pay for a subscription. Exactly. There was there was a ton of things that, like I said, it was really useful for. You could have a nice little badge for just being a regular in the community. I don't know. I, I think it was very valuable. I'm very sad that it's gone. I'm especially more sad that it was gone before I even got a chance to use it. Because I had so many ideas for when I could use it. And the fact that I just never got the opportunity. And then they said that, oh well, just nobody used it. Really bothered me. I think you can with like FFZ, to be honest. Um, well, I think that it's not that they're they've tried nothing and they're out of ideas. I think they wanted to dedicate those resources to something else, and they just needed an excuse. So they basically, they, they just killed it, like, intentionally, like, 
They're like, guest star, guest star. We need everybody to use guest star. Guest star, please, please use guest star. I'm gonna be fired if you don't use guest star. Please, everybody use guest star right now. But then nothing about moments. Okay, so we're going to Turtle Rock now. I've never seen anyone use Guest Star. I don't like Guest Star. They sent me a survey. They're like, will you ever use Guest Star? And I'm like, no, absolutely not. You know what, I'll, I'll make Twitch a thing. I'll use Guest Star if they bring back moments. <laughs> there, there you go. There's my thing. If you bring back moments, I'll use guest star. <laughs> Never heard of guest star either? Oh my god. Twitch is all about guest star. Uh, you can't go anywhere on Twitch, like, without Twitch trying to- If you stream on Twitch, you can't go anywhere. You can't get any notifications from Twitch without them begging you to use it. But now it's even called something else. Like, they're, they, they called it something completely different. Suddenly Twitch is listening. <laughs> um... They renamed it. Uh, what did they call it? I wish they'd stop shoving it in my face. Yeah. Yeah. Or telling me that other people were using guest star. Like, I just don't care. <laughs> uh, if it's related to hosting. It is basically inviting somebody onto your stream. It is. Yeah, it's called stream together. That's, yeah. It's, it's, um... It's where you can stream with somebody else on your stream. Um, and you can have like Twitch kind of decide like the rotation and other miscellaneous things of like who's coming in. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's something. I literally went and forgot the fact that I needed the fire rod to get the big key. And I continued ahead without getting the fire rod stuff. I got so distracted by this guest star thing. Not as a picture in picture, but just in place of you streaming. No, beside me. Like, in my stream. Um, like, I would have an OBS, like, overlay. Or not overlay, but, like, I'd have an OBS thing where... Link, where they could put in somebody else's, like, camera. They're like... And everybody's like, well, we can't control what they're doing. Why would we, why would we invite somebody to come onto our stream? Because we'll just get banned if they do something stupid. If, especially if we can't control who's coming onto the stream. And like, what happens if they say something that gets us banned? Which is like, oh, oh, oh no, don't worry. You won't get banned. Uh, we want you to use this feature so bad that if somebody literally shows up like nude or says anything like bad or racist or anything, you won't get banned. Just please use the feature. Please use it. It was so... It was... It was ridiculous. Um... Yo, Rain, thanks so much for the raid. You came in the middle of my rant about guest star. <laughs> yeah, you... You can set it to... You... You could... You can now set it to be specific people. But in the original thing, it would be like a, get a user in your Twitch stream uh, can ask to join and it would like cycle people through like into your into your stream. And... Oh! <laughs> yeah, it was, a, it was a thing. That sounds like the worst idea. Yeah, but that's what they replaced moments with. That's what they dedicated all their time towards instead of something else. But they pushed it so hard. Like, 
like I said, it was like somebody's job was riding on it. Um, it was, it was absolutely everywhere, everywhere. Um, they would send you push notifications about it. They would send you emails like weekly. Have you tried guest star? Oh, look who's using guest star. This is about guest star. It was everywhere. Um, it was, like I said, it was weird how, how much, um, how much it was actually pushed. Move guest star, no, I used to. Yeah, no, of course, Rain. I'm hope, I'm hoping you had a good stream. But yeah, basically what it is, is it's basically, you know how we use um, Discord to have communications for collabs, collaborations? That's what they're trying to make this. Um, that's what they're trying to make uh, guest star, is to replace the Discord call. There's a better way to do it. It's called Discord, yeah. Well, and that's the thing. Like, they've, they've now added stories, right? Which was immediately, like, I have never turned off a feature so fast in my life. The, um, the, not only was that, like, super annoying, but the more annoying thing for it was the fact that, um... <gasps> Yo! <laughs> Tide is gifting a sub to bring back moments. Um, the more annoying thing for it was the fact that, um, it automatically, when it was enabled, it automatically enabled push notifications for that feature. And oh my god, the amount of push notifications I got to my phone was absolutely nuts. Like, it was insane. I had... 15 notifications in five minutes. It was so, so bad. <laughs> um, I, I immediately, the first thing I did when that went live was I turned it off uh, because it was like, I turned off the push notifications for it because it was just so bad. It's like everybody on your Anybody on your following list, if they had if they had posted a story, it would tell you immediately. And everybody wanted to be like the first person, like, hey, this is my first story. This is I'm just trying it out, kind of thing. And it was just all at the same time. It was so bad. <laughs> oh, I was just like, please stop. I just want to be able to use my phone. Okay, let's kill Trinex. <laughs> you managed to turn it off before the notification. I didn't realize that it was gonna start notifications immediately. Um, yeah. And start pruning your following list based on story use. I just here's my thing about stories. Okay, there's a reason why they're successful where they are because people who use that use it for that, right? People who use Twitch to watch streams use Twitch to watch streams. If they wanted to go and watch people's stories, they would follow you on Instagram or YouTube or the other places that you post stories right the it's important as a content creator to diversify your content right um it's very important to diversify yo first thank you so much for the raid um 
It's very important as a streamer to di diversify your content. With as much as Twitch is pro pushing for their pro platform to be the all-inclusive one-stop shop, it is super important. Do not fall into the habit of putting all your stuff on one platform. You have to diversify because if Twitch dies one day, right? If Twitch dies one day, then all your stuff, if you've built everything, if you built your entire platform on Twitch, it will be the end of your, your content creation career. Um, it is important, very, 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 very important that you diversify, diversify now, not when it dies, but now start building your base somewhere else. Do not just stick on Twitch for everything. It's important, and with Twitch continuously trying to add things to say, hey, you can just put it all here, put it all here. Don't put it anywhere else, put it all here. Don't worry, we got you covered. Wink, wink. No, don't do it. Don't fall into that trap. <laughs> Telling you now. Especially with, like, how Amazon has been treating, um... Which is a platform in general. Um, it's very important that you get a like build up somewhere else. Yes, welcome raiders. Sorry, you guys came into Saku Rant. <laughs> um, especially now. Now is your opportunity with Twitch giving you the ability to stream on multiple different platforms. Um, it is now the best time to diversify your platform. Make sure you get followers, bring your followers wherever you go. If you have the ability, get them to follow you on any platform that you're having because you never know which platform is just gonna one day decide, you know what, today's the day we're not gonna, we're not gonna do it anymore. And then all of a sudden your entire everything is gone. You have no way to contact anybody. You have no way to let anybody know that you're moving to a different platform. You don't want to wait until that happens. You need to start doing it now. And God forbid if you get banned on your only platform. Exactly. It's important, like I said. Um, and if you, if you as like a, a viewer, if you um, can, like, if, if creators have um, different platforms that they're on, social medias, whether it be um, whatever, or or platforms like, you know, YouTube, Twitch, whatever. Um, if you want to make sure that in the event of, you know, a site implosion, make sure that you try to see if they have any other platforms that you can... Um, that you can follow them on so that in like in that event you have the ability to still um keep watching them keep following them if you want because they'll most likely if that stuff if twitch like whatever one day implodes on itself they'll probably still be making content elsewhere um so yeah But that is my opinion. I'm telling you, stories is cool and all, but there's a place for stories. And if you keep everything, like the problem is if you if you put everything on one site, even if it's available elsewhere, there is really no reason for them to go and follow you on your other platforms, right? Because they can just see it here. Why would they go out of their way if they're already here? There's really no reason for them to go to anything else. So, business-wise, it doesn't make sense. Um... Yeah, don't put all your eggs in one basket, exactly. I think Twitch is starting to actually worry 
about um, people leaving their platform, there would be, like, um, I don't see any reason why they would have added the, uh, the ability to simulcast. <laughs> like, a really cool basket over here. I don't think they would have um, added the ability to simulcast if uh, they weren't afraid of people leaving their platform. Okay, well. I did see your fishing rant. Um, I just didn't have the ability to respond to it because I'm um, doing a lot of my own stream stuff this week. <laughs> they dropped that for a feature five other platforms has. Yeah. I'm just, I'm still super bummed out about moments. I'm gonna be bummed out about moments unless they bring it back. And the only way they're gonna bring it back is if people vote for it to come back. And I know that a lot of people have. It's in the Final Fantasy channel, uh, Agra. And you won't see the Final Fantasy channels unless you have um, the Final Fantasy role in the Discord. Yeah, if you if anybody wants to vote for it, um, there is uh, there is a link that uh, Jack is gonna post. But um, that's the user voice thing. That's where you vote to basically tell Twitch that you want something. Um, I think it's worth it bringing it back. Why I'm looking at things in here because I don't think there's anything that I can get. Oh, bug net, I guess. <laughs> Moldarm got bullied today. too much work for whatever time it is. Yeah, she's sleepy. <laughs> I only got one. Have you secretly been playing 14 and not telling me? Oh god, no. No, um, Kanzion was talking about the fishing stuff. In the 14 channel? I'm not very good at this whole sword thing. There we go. We got it, finally! Come and get another glass of water. Are you thirsty? You're so mad. I don't like tone. Wait. <laughs> oh God, no. <laughs> Wait, pretty good at at for, uh, this game. Thank you. Dodge. Dodge. I've hit this guy way too many times, but that's okay. Oh, I was worried that was gonna happen. No, now I gotta deal with fire bats. Yeah, I was just uh, hitting the fire bat on purpose so that it would uh, push me towards Ganon again. Yeah, definitely on purpose. I would be caught dead playing. No, that's not what I meant. <laughs> 
more like I, um... Just don't have time for it. Did you play it without telling me? I'm like, no, no, no. <laughs> Not done. We gotta make sure our sound doesn't go to the VOD. Oh God, here we go. How do I uh, advance audio properties? And let's quickly just go in here and remove the audio. Okay, good. Hopefully I didn't get muted. <laughs> ah, oh my God. Espen found your clone? I did, I did see that. Uh, well. The person who is probably upset that I took the name. Yeah. They're probably the one who's been fighting with me on Twitter about, or not Twitter, on all my social medias for the name. I'm gonna post pictures in Fantastic Yums. Yo, thanks for the GGs. All right now I can have a piece of chicken. And not being able to keep up the sub post trial. Yeah, I honestly the game is great. Agra, um, the game is the game is phenomenal. And it is uh definitely it, but it is good for people who like story based RPG, right? Yeah, <laughs> this talk is right here to kicking and streaming. Here I am five years later. Yeah, but hopefully it made your life, you know, a little better. Hopefully it was a good experience. Honestly, 14 is how I found out about Twitch. Final Fantasy 14 is how I... It is my life. <laughs> I was also dragged into it probably abandoned. I Listen, I played it for a long time, but I also play it at five in the morning or played it at five in the morning when everybody was asleep. <laughs> so I never found the, or I did find, where was the mushroom? I did find the mushroom. I just did not hand it in. Such is the life of a schedule. I mean, I play games all the time, but I don't start playing them until I'm done stream. Um, it's like a wind down thing. So it's like 14, Destiny and other miscellaneous games all get played at like three, four, five in the morning. And so if there's a... Now, now, if there's people who want to play, they have to play with me at those times, and most people are asleep. <laughs> I'm not trying to blame 14 for my DGEN schedule. I've always been a DGEN. Or, well, I've always had a DGEN schedule. I mean, <laughs> the other one's probably true, too. But... <laughs> Yo, have a good night, waifu. <laughs> At least you own it. <laughs> yeah, someone made a moment of that all. Oh. <laughs> Baku admitting Zijin. I just think that um like I I I first of all, nighttime is best for my eyes. Um, we all know, maybe not everybody, but a lot of people here know about my hemiplegic migraines and the fact that they're triggered by UV light. 
which is literally the sun. <laughs> um. So, um. You know, it's just better to be nocturnal. It's a little inconvenient when it comes to, like, you know, being able to go grocery shopping or go to, like, the doctors or dentist or literally anything because I have to change my entire schedule around. <laughs> Are you a vampire? If you're keeping it a secret, you can DM me. Hmm. I don't know. I don't think I'm keeping that a secret, though. I think I admitted it a while ago. I normally only go outside when the sun is covered by clouds. He doesn't like garlic? What do you mean I don't like garlic? Garlic is like my favorite spice, herb, whatever thing going on in the world. It's citrus that I don't like. Why? Because it'll kill me. <laughs> Good thing you have to be invited inside. I'm safe. What? You're saying that if I said, hey, hey, um... That I that I couldn't be be invited inside. No lemon cheesecake. No. They actually hated citrus. Uh, from what I understand, the the rumor is that they just have like a severe aversion to something, not necessarily, um, just garlic. Nice. <laughs> The good thing is, listen, vampires have to be, like, appealing so that they get into, um, they get into, like, people invite them in and, and charismatic and other things. So, like, I'm automatically not a vampire because I don't, I don't have any of those qualities. <laughs> so you're good. <laughs> Could they enter your house without permission? That is actually a great question. I never thought of that. <laughs> Taco has a serious aversion of 14 because I know that I'll like it the problem is is that I can't play it and I I finished the story I finished all the stuff all the story that I wanted to when I got into it I found out the stuff that was important to me to find out and now I'm ready to close that book I can you know decide to open the book any other time but not now Just a book to be closed. No, 14 is the book to be closed. It's a good story, mind you. Like I said, it's a good story. Look, see, 168. See, I'm, I'm, this is about my average collection rate. Paco and Servo finished within, like, 40 seconds of each other. That was a close race, by the way. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you liked it. If you aren't already subscribed, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell to get notified when I put out a new video. A huge thank you to my patrons on Patreon. You help me to be able to continue making videos. And if you want to become a member of the Patreon family, the link is in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!